Using a password manager is critical to protecting your online accounts, but with so many options out there, it can be hard to know which one to use. Bitwarden and ProtonPass are two popular options, and since ProtonPass recently added a ton of new features, I'm comparing them to see which one is worth using. Bitwarden has been around since 2016, and it's a fully open source platform. That means you could host it on your own server if you wanted to. ProtonPass is the new kid on the block, launching less than a year ago in 2023. It's been lacking some key features since its initial launch, but it recently got a big update in March that added several new features and lowered the price to make it more competitive. ProtonPass also advertises being open source, but they only publish the source code for the apps and web client. The server-side code is not public, meaning you can't self-host ProtonPass on your own server. But to be honest, that's a huge responsibility and I wouldn't recommend it for most users, so I'll stick with the hosted version of each password manager in this video. I want to start by looking at the ease of use for both of these password managers. At the end of the day, your password manager needs to make life as simple as possible. If it complicates things too much, you may revert to using the same password on every site to avoid using a password manager, and that's only going to damage your online security. Thankfully, Bitwarden is available on iOS, Android, Windows, Mac, and Linux. There's also a web client and browser extensions for Chrome, Firefox, Safari, and other Chromium browsers. There's no excuse not to use it on all of your devices. ProtonPass is still building out their apps and extensions, and right now you can use it on iOS, Android, and Windows. Mac and Linux desktop apps are coming soon, and there's a web vault you can use until those are ready. There's also extensions for Chrome, Firefox, and other Chromium browsers, but no extension for Safari yet. Although Bitwarden is available on more platforms, I think ProtonPass takes the edge for ease of use. The interface is simpler and more approachable for a non-tech savvy user. Don't get me wrong, Bitwarden is also easy to use, but the interface is a bit cluttered and dull. It's a lot of dropdowns and nondescript icons, and sometimes simple tasks like copying your passwords can be confusing. Once you learn the interface, it's not bad, but the ProtonPass interface is much more polished. It simplifies things, allowing you to click field to copy instead of clicking a copy icon like in Bitwarden. I also like being able to see the site icon within the vault item. It helps you quickly identify what you have up when you're clicking between your vault and your browser. Kind of like how YouTube helps you identify the subscribe button. It's pretty neat. The subscribe button glows when I mention it, and it's a great reminder to subscribe and click the bell if you haven't already. So for ease of use in the user interface, ProtonPass takes the cake, but how do the features compare? Both password managers can autofill forms on desktop and mobile, and both store logins in addition to credit card numbers and secure notes. Bitwarden has an identity item option for storing your name, address, passport number, social security number, and other personal information. ProtonPass is planning on adding this feature, but there's not an exact timeline on when the feature will be live. I appreciate the ability to store information other than password in my password manager, as then it becomes a hub for more of the data I want to remember and keep safe. Bitwarden lets you organize items into folders, and ProtonPass lets you organize items into vaults. I think Bitwarden has the superior organization structure here, because you can use folders as a way to keep your vault tidy. ProtonPass allows you to create as many vaults as you want, but you can only share vaults with users, not specific logins. So if you want to share an item in your work vault with a team member, you have to either share your entire work vault with them or create another vault just for the purpose of sharing one item. Bitwarden also requires you to share things at a vault level, which is not ideal, but at least you can create folders within vaults for further organization. Both Bitwarden and ProtonPass allow you to create custom fields to store things like security questions, but ProtonPass reserves custom fields for the Plus version. ProtonPass is also unable to autofill custom fields. Some accounts like airline loyalty programs require your last name in addition to your username and password to log in. Bitwarden can autofill custom fields as long as it's able to map them to the appropriate field, meaning I could log into my airline account with one click. With ProtonPass, autofilling custom fields isn't supported, so I have to type it manually or copy and paste it. You can generate and autofill two-factor authentication codes in Bitwarden and ProtonPass, but both require paid plans to add unlimited 2FA codes. You can also generate and store pass keys in both password managers to take advantage of passwordless logins on 
sites that support it. Bitwarden is the only password manager that also supports logging into your vault with a passkey, though to be honest, this is logistically complicated because you would have to store a local copy of the passkey on every device that you plan to access Bitwarden from. One of the biggest advantages of ProtonPass is getting unlimited hide my email aliases with the Plus version. You can generate randomized email addresses to use in place of your actual email so a site can't send you spam mail till the end of time. If a site ends up being untrustworthy and selling your email, you can disconnect that individual email so those lists can never send you spam mail again. Bitwarden supports email alias generation, but you'll need to use a third-party service like Simple Login, Addy.io, or Firefox Relay. On one hand, I appreciate that ProtonPass includes this in the Plus version, as not many password managers offer this feature built in. On the other hand, I love that Bitwarden gives you the choice to pick which email alias service you want to use, even if you have to pay an additional fee for those services. The Hide My Email aliases generated by ProtonPass are on their domains, so if you ever decide to cancel your Proton Plus subscription, things get a bit dicey. But if you instead use a third-party service like Addy.io, you can connect a custom domain name and create the aliases on your domain. This way, if you ever switch password managers, your aliases continue functioning as expected. And if you ever cancel your Addy.io account, you could recreate those aliases using your domain name at another alias server. So with Bitwarden, you have the choice to pick an alias service that will allow you to connect a custom domain, but with ProtonPass, you have to either use the included domains or forego that feature altogether and still set up a third-party service. Bitwarden also has a report screen to see reused passwords, weak passwords, and sites where you can opt into two-factor authentication but haven't done so yet. ProtonPass says they're planning a dashboard with reports like this, but once again, there's no exact timeline on when this will be implemented. As you can see, there's a lot of nuance that goes into picking the right password manager for you. So if you're curious to get insight on your exact use case, I'm always available to chat in my Discord server. I help out as much as I can, and you can also get insight from other members of the community, so I'll have it linked below if you're interested in joining. Ultimately, the most important thing your password manager can do is protect your data. ProtonPass uses the same end-to-end -end encryption as ProtonMail, and the optional Proton Sentinel program uses AI to monitor account activity and enact additional security measures even if a bad actor successfully guesses your password. ProtonPass also proudly boasts their open source infrastructure, inviting tech-savvy users to take a look at the code and ensure that it uses proper security measures. Still, as I mentioned earlier, they don't publish the server-side code, so you can't get a full picture of how ProtonPass functions. Bitwarden publishes both the client-side and server-side code, and so far, neither password manager has experienced any breaches. So in the end, which which password manager should you use? If you're willing to pay for your password manager and you want the smoothest option, I would recommend ProtonPass for most users. The simple, elegant interface makes it one of the easiest password managers I've ever tested, and it comes in cheaper than other premium options like 1Password and Dashlane. But there's no denying that ProtonPass is lacking features. You can't even save identities or passport numbers yet. And while many of these features are on the roadmap, there's no timeline for when they'll be implemented. That's important to me because if I were to migrate to ProtonPass today, I wouldn't be able to bring all my data over from my current password manager, which does support this. ProtonPass has everything the average user needs to protect their accounts, and that's why I'd recommend it for most users. I think it's worth paying for a password manager if you're able to for the best experience, and with ProtonPass coming in cheaper than other paid options, it makes sense for most people. But what if you need a free password manager? While both ProtonPass and Bitwarden offer free plans, Bitwarden gives you way more features in the free plan. You can add custom fields, use passkeys, and share vault items with one other user for free. So if you don't want to pay for a password manager and you're looking for the best free option, use Bitwarden. If you want the advanced features of Bitwarden with the polish of ProtonPass, there is a third option. 1Password is my personal favorite password manager, and the feature set is similar to Bitwarden, but the interface is much more intuitive. It comes in at $36 a year, so it's a bit more expensive than ProtonPass Plus, but you get the best of both worlds with advanced features and a nice interface. Now, I didn't bring up some of the other common names in the password manager world like LastPass or Keeper, so if you're curious to know how they compare, check out my ultimate password manager comparison video here.